Okay, I'm back with another video that is uh, meant to give you practice and help you get good at using Fusion 360. Uh, I started out saying these are for beginners and it's still true, but I think if anybody's trying to get good at using Fusion, uh, they need to get good at making sketches. And so that's what all of this is, is taking technical drawings and executing them in Fusion 360. So uh, this time I'm going back a little bit. I've been uh, getting more complex each time in, in theory. Um, and I went from 2D drawings to kind of these perspective drawings or um, at least uh, orthographic projection or, or just projections. And so um, this one's going back to a 2D one because it gives us a good chance to look at how circular patterns work and how you can keep a sketch really simple while making something kind of complicated. So let's uh, just start by making a new component and call it ratchet wheel. Whoops, let's try that again. Undo. Uh, ratchet wheel. And I will create a sketch on just on the front work plane is fine. And I'm just going to go right from the middle outward. So we've got, first of all, a uh, hole for the shaft. So this is the bore. And it says it's 19 millimeters. This is, there's actually a kind of a, uh, a range there, 19 or it says 19.05, so there's some clearance there for a shaft to make its way through, but we're going to do 19. Uh, if we wanted to, you know, kind of do this, we can we can make a technical drawing as well by going to the uh, drawing workspace, and so we could put a clearance in there. But in the in when we're actually drawing here, we need an actual number, so we're going to put 19. Uh, the other thing is there's a keyway here, so I'm going to uh, draw that keyway using a center rectangle. And I can tell you how these, these keyways work is that there's essentially a square key in this case. And even though it says the keyway is 4.76 by 2.38, it's for a 4.76 by 4.76 key. So I'm going to draw a square here. And you can see it looks just like the drawing. And there's a square key. The shaft has a groove in it. And so does this hub. And that's just how they work. So that's, um, I don't know if you'd always see it. Uh, with these dimensions that are in this technical drawing, but that's what they're trying to show. Uh, I'm going to do the bo the uh, the hub next, and this is the kind of raised part of this wheel. That is 38. And then the next circle out, if I just keep going outward, is actually a construction line circle, and that's giving us the ring around which all the holes are drawn. So this will be... 82 and what I've gotten in the practice of doing is basically just drawing it and then going back and and clicking it and type and hitting X to make it a construction line instead of doing it before I draw it just seems to just be annoying uh, I will create a new circle and when I'm zoomed out like this it's kind of hard to click on you can click slightly off it's um, so I'm trying to be careful and make sure I start in the same center so that these are all concentric uh, the next one is 127. And the final one, I think, is actually going to be a uh, another construction line, but we'll see. So this is 152. And I, I don't think I will make that a construction line. So um, I think that's, that's it. That describes kind of everything about the wheel. Now we need the circles. So let's make a construction line that just goes from the top to bottom here. And this will give us that point where these two construction lines intersect. That's where our circle will be. And that circle is 25 millimeters. Okay, that's the hole. Um, so we've made one hole, and I think we just need to make one tooth. And then everything else is, all the other ones are going to get um, patterned. So let's make a tooth here. We can see that there is a tooth that starts here with just a line and another line. So there we go. The angle here, I'm looking actually over to kind of 2 o'clock on the drawing <laughs> over toward the right. I'm looking at this angle. It says it should be 90 degrees. And it also says that, uh, well, 90 degrees. And then... I guess the dis you know, the, the angle between this line and another construction line coming from here to the center is 15 degrees. So let's make that construction line going from here to the center. Again, I'll click it and hit X. And so the angle between here and here, that's 
given as 15 degrees. So that's a tooth. That's it. We've got a hole and a tooth, and I think from there we should be able to pattern everything else. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just extrude this. There are no dimensions. I think probably... Um, well, there's an interesting thing. I think the way this probably works is that there's uh, a hub. Hmm. Let's do this. So I can explain as I do it. But I think probably this is a symmetrical sort of thing. So I'm going to say that this is actually, you know, um, five, five millimeter extrusion. But since it's symmetrical, it's going to be 10 overall. And I can hit OK. And then I can do the same thing here where um, if I want to make the, the hub here and the outer part bigger, then I can just click those two profiles, this one and this one. I'm just sort of guessing at what this might look like. Um, I'm going to do symmetric, and I'm going to make this one 10. And let's join. So what I've got here now is something that looks like this, right? So I've got the, the teeth and the hub kind of come out and everything else is inside. So I'm just kind of guessing that that's how it's supposed to be. I over-exaggerated the dimensions that looks like a crazy huge tooth, but um, you get the idea. We can, we can extrude using symmetry and that was one, one thing I wanted to show you. So um, now what I want to do is make more teeth and more holes. So I'll go to create pattern circular pattern remember I'm patterning in the solid workspace even though uh, those options are also available in the sketch and I don't want to pattern the body and I end up with a bunch of these wheels uh, and I can't pattern a feature now if I had extruded a separate extrude just for that hole I could pattern that as a feature and uh, make it happen again and again in this case we can just use faces and choose the inside face around that hole and then uh, give it an axis. The axis can either be the real axis here, that blue line, or you can just click any circle and uh, that's concentric with what you're doing. So that works fine. And there are six of those. I'll hit OK. That's that. And the last thing is to um, pattern the teeth. So I will go to create pattern, circular pattern, and I'll do the same thing, just faces, that face and that face and I will pattern it in the same way. I'll just click any concentric circle. And then how many of them? Well, we know there's 15 degrees there um, in that kind of wedge uh, where the uh, one end of the tooth is to the other. So I think if we do like 360 degrees divided by 15, that should give us the number of teeth. And I'll hit OK, and there we go. We've got our gear. Okay, uh, that's it. I'm going to stop talking and go on to the next one in a few days. Take care.